Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. So today's video is technically going to be a compare and contrast of American and UK culture and like their spelling and their language. Um, I'm sorry if I sound kind of like monotone and blah in this video. I'm still trying to like learn to transfer into a YouTube girl, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so I really do want to continue this series on our YouTube channel. So if you guys like have any recommendations or anything you guys want us to compare and contrast of UK and America, please feel free to comment down below and hit that subscribe and like button to let us know that you really guys enjoy this content. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. So if you guys didn't know, yes, we moved to the UK. and We lived over there for about six years. So we recently just moved back to Florida. We haven't been here that long. We've only been here maybe like six or seven months. So we're still getting adjusted, but I do want to continue this series on our YouTube channel and talk about the differences between what I know about a UK person and an American person, like the culture and the language and what I know, what I experienced for living over there. So the first thing that I noticed when I got over there was, yes, you guys do speak the same language, just with an accent. So instead of having an American accent, you guys would have a British accent, which is really, really cool. And also what I noticed is that you guys' words or language is a little bit different than the American. So instead of saying, as like we would say garage, you guys would say garage, something like to pull a, like a car into to be protected, like American houses have garages. But as an American, if I would say garage, a lot of them would look at me like, what are you saying? So instead of me saying almost there, you guys would say nearly there. Okay, so this gets me every time. So instead of saying, as us Americans would say shirt, but in UK, they would say jumper, which pretty much means shirt. Um, I was in a store one time and they're like, oh, I like your jumper. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, I was so confused because I have never heard that term in my life. So I was really confused. But the more that I lived there, I gained to know, like, what the word meant. But this kind of entitles to both. We just don't use it as much as the UK. So instead of saying pants, like in America, we would say pants, but you guys would say trousers. Some American people, depending on probably what state they're from, would probably use trousers, but we don't use it as much. We do just say pants or shorts or whatever, as to you guys would just use it as trousers. Okay, so this is another tricky one. So we would say tennis shoes, but the UK would say trainers. And I thought that was kind of strange at first because as an American, you would think trainer as maybe a personal trainer or someone, or a dog trainer, someone that trains someone to do something. So, shoes was not the first thing that came into my mind when they said trainers are like tennis shoes, you know? So the next one is cookie. So, as many of you guys know, you would take like a chocolate chip cookie as a cookie, but their cookies are considered like biscuits, but they're actually cookies so they just use them as like different words but they would use their cookies for like coffee like with coffee if that makes sense okay so this i just like doing these type of videos so the next one would be braces in america we would think they go on your teeth right but in britain they're suspenders but in america we just call them suspenders so i just thought that was kind of interesting as well Okay, so another word, so in America, we would just use the word vest. Like if you went to a wedding, you had to put on a vest or like one of those winter vests, it's just called a vest. But in Britain, in Britain, they call it a waistcoat. I just, it's so funny, like going over there and learning different words in different cultures is so cool because you never would have thought they would have different words and meanings. It's so cool. like. Not, I'm not saying that it wouldn't be words that I would use just because I'm so used to the American language. But when I did get over there, I thought it was really cool to learn different words that they had for words that we also use as well. But it's like different words, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I thought this was also very, very interesting. So us Americans, if we want a bag of potato chips, we would just walk in to any store and we would say we want chips, you know? 
but their chips, like our our chips, but their chips are called crisp. So they're kind of the meaning, like I get the meaning, but say you want french fries, right? So you walk in, us Americans, we want french fries. You will walk in and you say you want chips. They also know the meaning of french fries. So if you did go to England and you wanted some french fries, you could say french fries and they still understand the meaning. But the proper word for their french fries is called chips. I think that is so interesting because our chips are completely different than the British chips. Even though their chips are french fries and then... Yeah, it's confusing. Like, you would have to, like, live there or you would have to study the culture to understand the differences. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, so another thing that I found interesting is their spelling. So yes, they have different spellings, but their words are the same. Like, they mean the same thing. So how us Americans would spell color is C-O-L-O-R, but they would spell color C-O-L-O-U-R, which is kind of funny. I guess it's just the way you pronounce it. And also for gray, we would spell it, us Americans would spell it G-R-A-Y, and they would spell it G-R-E-Y. So another word that's kind of cool is that the UK say aeroplane, and we say airplane. So it's just kind of the way that you either would pronounce it, or maybe like an accent would pick up certain words. So yeah. Okay, so another thing that's different within our language. So us Americans will say, there's a line. But the UK would say there's a queue, wait in the queue, and then us would say wait in the line or whatever. But I mean, you would get away with saying here's the line, but most of the time if you're out like walking on the street you'll, and there's a line formed, you'll say here's the queue. So it kind of just depends. It took us a while when I lived over there and my family lived over there to grab certain words in different languages to know what they mean because each country has so many different meanings for each other thing. So it's just about learning and knowing what they mean, basically. So the thing about British language is you pretty much, you just have to study it. So when I went to school in the UK, yes, we did do a little bit of English language and a little bit of American language. We did a little bit of both, just so we could get a little bit of an understanding of both. But so you kind of have to do your own research if you kind of want to understand the difference between our English and their English. Um, so basically, for to give an example, we would spell checks, C-H-E-C-K-S, and they'll spell checks, C-H-E-Q-U-E, which is pretty much the same thing as a check you get in the mail that has money on it. It's just their meaning and their spelling is different than our meaning and spelling. Here is another cool thing, and if you guys want me to do more words, there is so many more words. I can do a part two to this video. This video is actually kind of fun. So if you guys want a part two of our language versus their language, definitely comment down below like what you want a different meaning for, and I'll try to do that video or like words, and I'll try to include it. But if you guys definitely do want a part two to this video, you guys should definitely subscribe and hit that like button. Tell me down in the comments that you guys would like a part two because there are so many more words out there. There are so many more that I can do. But yeah, okay, so say us Americans, if you need medication, you would go to the drugstore or pharmacy, right? Well, in the UK, their like drugstore slash pharmacy is called a chemist. It's pretty much the same thing. It's when you think about it, it makes more logical sense. But we would say drugstore slash pharmacy and they would just say chem chemist for their drug and pharmacy. So that is another different word that they use. Okay, so here is another example. So us Americans would think boot as like a boot for the winter or just a dressy boot, right? No, their boot is our trunk. So the UK would be like, oh, go to the trunk of my car, but it would actually be go to the boot of my car. So in America, we would say go to the trunk of my car. So they have completely different meanings. Um, yeah, I never really picked up some of these words. I still use trunk, but I lived there for a while. So there was some words that you did have to transition when you were talking to certain people to figure it out. But some people in, a, in the UK mostly knew a lot of American words as well. So I think this might be the last one because I don't know how long this video is, but this one is kind of funny. So 
if you would say let's get takeout for dinner they would say let's get takeaway for dinner it means the same exact thing they just say it differently I don't know why they use different meanings but takeaway and takeout it's pretty much the same thing but that's just their meaning for their food okay so I'm gonna do one more spelling because I could do a whole video on different words that they spell differently you might can watch out for that video because I definitely will probably film that video because I think it's so cool and how it means the same thing but they spell it completely different but this is going to be the last one that I do basically on their spelling. Okay, so us Americans if we had like body odor we would spell it O-D-O-R but the UK they would spell it O-D-O-U-R so it's basically the same like it's the same thing but they just spell it differently. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, you guys should definitely give this video a like and subscribe button if you guys want me to do like a compare and contrast more of these videos. And I also want to do a different spelling video of the UK and America. So if you guys like that video, just like this one and subscribe like always. But without further ado, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.